Evening all, by the way. Don't mind me, I'm just, uh, just uh, doing some last minute touches. Uh, yeah. Welcome, Vaughn, welcome all. This is GMW Underground 2 episode tonight. And what's on your screen right now, as you're seeing, is your main event of the evening, ladies and gents. That is your main event. Of the evening. The GMW World's Television Championship. Okay. The GMW World TV title. Is on the line tonight. Uh, guys in a second if you're commenting in my chat if you are commenting in my chat i love you for it so uh wrestling Takes with this damn thing. Right. Boom. Okay, thumbnail. Just be with you. Uh, my underground thumbnail. Where you at? There you are. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Oh, effort. 
This shows what happened last week, I suppose. Well, sort of. Right. Sorry, guys. Just get myself worked in. Here we go, peeps. Welcome to another installment of GMW Underground. That's right. This is GMW Underground, the second installment. Uh, last week's was a huge success, and thank you so much for that, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely loved it. Um, very happy with how things turned out and how it all went down, especially views-wise as well. Hopefully we can have the same again this week. Um, like I say, guys, the World Television Championship is on the line, as you can see in the main event. Um, yeah, the World Television title is on the line. GMW World TV Championship is on the line. It's going to be good, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be good. I love it. The world's television title, Big Amish challenging Billy Paragon. Now, Billy Paragon has had a, quite a week, and he's been on quite the roll uh, as well. Can he culminate that roll that he's been on with him winning the world television title tonight? Or is the Big Amish going to prove just how dominant he is, not only as the world television championship, as the world TV champion, even though he has not defended it, this is his first defense, pretty much, of the TV title. He is also going to be, like I said, world TV title, he's also the world's heavyweight champion too. But this is his first defense of the world television title as well. So, well, like I said, we can only see what happens, guys. We can only see what happens tonight as well. Other matches tonight. We will kick off this episode with Maniac 1-on-1 -on -one with Mass Terror. Now, Mass Terror, I'm not going to lie, he's been a pain in my ass, on not just on GMW, but also on LCW too. But Maniac wanted to make a name for himself here in GMW. And he called out the big man last Tuesday, I believe, on GMW. On Twitch. Well, tonight he gets his wish, ladies and gentlemen. He gets his undivided wish because he's going to go one on one and that's going to kick off the show. Mass Terror one on one with Maniac. Also, Aiden, Aiden Wheel is going to be calling out somebody. I have a funny feeling who it is because he lost to the killer this past week on uh, GMW um, and he's not happy about it. Also, a little experiment match. Now, Coley Masters has been on quite the losing streak, ladies and gentlemen, here in GMW. Ever since the start of the new season as well, she has been on quite the losing streak. And quite frankly, it has pissed me off. I ain't gonna lie. It has royally pissed me off. So here is the deal, ladies and gents. Here is the deal. I've decided to allow Colleen to go back to her old attire. Because I was watching LCW yesterday, LCW Chaos yesterday, and Colleen seems to be winning matches on LCW in her old attire. I've put her in a new attire. Maybe it is the old attire. I don't know. But we're going to have a test run tonight because she's winning matches in her old attire. So tonight she's going to get a rematch against Red, who on her debut beat her. Will Colleen get even? We shall see. The new leader of the female version of the Wolfpack Mafia. That's right, there's a male version now and the female version. The female version of the Wolfpack Mafia, the new leader is Lady J. And she's going to go one-on-one -on -one with Mercedes tonight. No interferences, no Thunder Rosa, no nothing. If Lady J wins this match tonight, she goes to Breakthrough, which is February 4th, streamed live on Twitch. She will go to Breakthrough Pay-Per-View February 4th and challenge Mercedes for the World Women's Title. The Women's World Title, if you will. Also, your first half main event. A match that Loco requested, quite frankly. He requested this match. It is Loco Joe one-on-one. -on -one with uh, Loco Joe one-on-one. -on -one with uh, the man himself. That's right. Mr. Maverick Fox. Now, Maverick beat... On Tuesday, Maverick Fox beat uh, OJJ. 
on Tuesday. But he lost to me and OJJ in the tag team match that was there on on was it Tuesday on there uh, Thursday. He lost the tag match as well. So yeah, it is what it is, ladies and gents. It is what it is. Tonight, Maverick was called out by the man who at some point soon is going to be facing Hulk, Hulk Hogan one last time. It will be Loco Joe versus Hogan 3 coming soon. They're already at one match apiece. Um, we'll find out how that's going to pan out or when that's going to take place. So, yeah. It's look first half main event. No disqualifications too. I want no excuses in this matchup. It is Loco Joe one-on-one -on -one with Maverick Fox. Also, kicking off. Now, I threw out a match, unfortunately, on f Tuesday or Thursday, whenever it was. Um, a four-way dance table match, which got a little out of hand. And a little wreckage as well, thanks to the uh, the good people at... Um, at uh, what do I call it? At uh, 2K, at least. So, tonight, we're going to have a three-way dance. The Nightmare, Punishment Martinez... And Raven, whoever wins this, gets an opportunity for the for the Hardcore Championship, which will probably either this week or maybe at the pay-per-view. We shall see. But one man must win. It is a three-way dance Hardcore Rules match. Whoever wins gets Drex for the Hardcore title. Also tonight, your co-main event of the evening. It is Logan Storm one-on-one -on -one with Orange Juice Jones. That is your main event. Based on what happened last week with Robert Styles and probably the greatest match in GMW's history as well. We may, Are we going to have another one tonight with Logan Storm? We'll find out. Also, Ray Wolf is not a happy man. We'll find out what he's whinging about later on. And also, again, the World's Television Championship main event. It is... Billy Paragon challenging the Big Amish, who is the current World Heavyweight Champion. But this tonight, it's about the World Television Title 2. It is Billy Paragon challenging the Big Amish for the World TV Championship. All of that is tonight. So, I've got to do something first, guys. Uh, so I'll just put you that on here. That's right, guys. Every single Saturday, at least for the time being, as well, um... It will be um, GMW Underground. Regarding my pay-per-views, ladies and gents, and I want to say this before I go on air, or before I officially go on air, at least. Regarding the pay-per-views, um, regarding the pay-per-views, I'm pretty much thinking as well, since now I do GMW pretty much three times a week, I do the Underground Show on Facebook on the Saturday. Um, I'm considering doing uh, GMW Tuesdays, Thursdays, and then when it comes to the pay-per-view, do the pay-per-view on the Saturday, except do the pay-per-view on Twitch instead. Um, maybe come on here for a couple of hours on the Saturday to get warmed up and everything and, you know, live up to my end of the deal but then do the pay-per-view on Twitch as well, because um, I'm kind of bored now. And since I now do GMW three times a week, I'm kind of bored doing the every Thursday pay-per-view week. Um, I want to up the ante. Um, at the moment right now, GMW Breakthrough is uh, February 4th. That's scheduled for February 4th, but I'm, I'm, I'm probably just going to go into that and hope for the best on that one. Um, but I'm also thinking of um, just doing that, basically. Tuesdays and Thursdays, even if it's pay-per-view week, or even it's the go-home shows, Tuesdays, Thursdays and will be the pay-per-view, will, will be the shows. And then after the go-home shows, the pay-per-view on the Saturday. And then maybe an underground show on the Sunday. I don't know, but I don't want to do too much. But maybe give underground a week off and then come back the following Saturday as well. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Maybe just come on here for a couple of hours on Facebook, do a couple of hours here on Facebook on the Saturday to make up and everything, and then just go from there, basically. And then go on to um, 
GMW on the thing. You, don't worry, Facebook. You still get the pay per view on here. You still get the pay per view that stream live. You still get the replays on here, so you'll be able to see it no problem. But that's what I'm thinking of doing because I'm bored. Because I ain't gonna lie to you guys, I'm bored doing the go home shows Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then going into the following week. You know, with the uh, the pay per view, you know, pay per view being on every Thursday. That's what I used to do that season. Um, I'm kind of bored of that now, if I'm honest. Um, I really am kind of bored of that now, um, and I don't want that, you know, to happen. So. Like I say, it's something to think about, and I'm probably am seriously considering going down that route. But yeah, it 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 doesn't make, you know, it it it's it, it's boring now for me at least, with going into the pay per view, the following Thursday and doing the behind the scenes show. Don't get me wrong, the behind the scenes show is very good, and I might do the behind the scenes show on that Saturday, going into the pay per view. Huh? Uh -huh. Something to think about, you know, to make up for lost time. You know, I might bring the the, the behind the scenes show, do a preview show over here, and then go straight over to the to the uh, to Twitch to do the pay per view. Mm -hmm. We shall see. That's not a bad idea, actually. Thinking about that, brain in check. But uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see how that is. But I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do the pay per view um, coming up. Which is on February fourth, which is the uh, the breakthrough pay per view. I will do that, um, and that, and then we'll take it from there. Basically, to see how that pans out and everything. I might even do it. I'm, I'm seriously considering not waiting and just doing it anyway. Um, but like I said, we can only we can only find out. We can only see and everything. But it seems, um that I'd like to go down that route because it is very, very tempting, if you will, um, in that respect, definitely. Very tempting to do. Um, you know, will it work or whatever? Who knows? But with that being said, ladies and gents, get out of here. So I just had to do some, uh, a little bit of reshuffling there, guys, but I'm here. We're here. But with that being said, ladies and gents, this is GMW Underground Episode 2, right? You know the matches, the world TV title. Will Billy Paragon become the new world television champion, or will the Big Amish prove his dominance? Last week on this program, Big, Billy Paragon got in the face of the world TV champion. Will he live to regret it? Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, your main event is Billy Paragon. Big Amish for the world TV title. This is GMW Underground. We don't care, we don't care when you call our name. We don't care, we don't care, we are just the same. We didn't know the race and we didn't know the fire. We need a miracle! Yes, indeed, ladies and gents. Welcome to another installment of GMW Underground right here on the Facebook page. Stream live on the Facebook page. And tonight, will Billy Paragon regret getting in the face of the World TV Champion? Will he be the new World Television Champion? Or will Big Amish prove his dominance tonight? It is for the World TV title. It is Billy Paragon one-on-one with the Big Amish Springfield, Illinois. Oh, are you in for a treat tonight? 
This is GMW, by the way. Right, we kick off the festivities tonight with Maniac one on one with the Mass Terror. Now, this was called out. Thank you for the follow up. This match was called out. Maniac called out the big man because he wanted to make a name for himself. He, look, he was looking for a way to make a name for himself. And I have no problems with that whatsoever. But he wanted to make a name for himself. Has he picked the right guy to do it at the expense of? But we'll find out later. But Mass Terror is the guy he chose. So tonight, this is what's going to kick off the show. Maniac 101 with Mass Terror. As well. Also tonight, Cody Masters one on one with Red in an experimental match from my end, based on what I saw yesterday on LCW. Also, Lady J one on one with Mercedes. If Lady J wins, she gets a women's championship match at the pay per view, which is Breakthrough, which takes place on Twitch on February fourth. Speaking of Twitch, uh, for more GMW. Hey, well, I haven't done that, have I? Uh, Mast, Terror, and Maniac. Let's do this. Something I need to do, guys. So while this is taking place, let me take care of this for a second. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, holy shit. Anyway, um, wow. Uh, whoa. Just got a little shock there, ladies and gentlemen, of this show so far. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Mask Terror, ladies and gentlemen. What a complete tool bag this guy is. I mean, you want to talk about a pain in my ass. This guy's been a pain in my ass since... Well, this guy non-stop is a pain in my ass, quite frankly. Uh... Scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from your darkest fears. Weighing in at 640 pounds, the Masked Man Terror. Indeedy. Masked Terror, ladies and gents. Appreciate the shares, the follows, and all that. I much appreciate it. And I've already shared them. Out a few times as well. If you could, if you guys are new here and you could share this stream out, it'd be greatly appreciated as well. Much appreciated indeed. So, Mass Terror one on one with Maniac to kick off this episode of GMW Underground. Exclusive here, streamed live exclusively on the Twitch, uh, on the Facebook page. This will be on Twitch tomorrow. Because I'm doing episode one and episode two tomorrow between 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock UK time as well. So tomorrow, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock UK time, there will be reruns on my there'll be reruns on my Twitch channel. Um, but, uh, yeah, there'll be reruns on my Twitch channel. So we'll see what happens. So it is a rerun. For more GMW... Follow and check out twitch.tv. It's better than doing it this way, couldn't it? Tell you what, since I've got my thingy open still, let me do it this way. Right, guys, first match to kick off this episode of GMW. It is Maniac one on one with Mask Terror. And is it me, or is Maniac actually. Bigger than Mass Terror. I'm pretty sure about that, but I didn't see how the stand. Oh no, I was wrong. Oh, a spear off the get go from uh, Maniac there. Bloody hell. Maniac not wasting any time on the big man. He's like, fuck that. I want to. I want to make an impact up in here. Eh? I want to make an impact in this. But, like I say, don't. Don't count out. Uh, don't you dare count out the uh, the big man that is Master. 
He may be a douchebag, but he's a crafty one. So, he may be a douchebag, ladies and gentlemen, but he is a crafty douchebag, if that's even a thing. Um, can I... Can I do... Do that in here, couldn't I? Where's my comments section? Hey, I thought I could. So, more, more. Thank you for the like on the stream. That is greatly appreciated. Greatly appreciated. Pretty intense match between the two so far. Yes, uh, Master is not well liked, as you can probably tell, ladies and gentlemen. He is not well liked at all. And who can blame them, quite frankly. Let me pin that up there. Lovely. So there we go. So. That's better. So that. Uh, refresh the chat. A little bit. And there. Uh, A lot of power there for Mass Terror. Like I said, this is Maniac's debut here on GMW. Oh, that's a, a claw hold. He's been he's been known to be very OP with that hold. OP meaning overpowered. He's, he has won some matches with this hold. I know, because I've been on receiving against some of them. Beautiful drop kick. And yes, I said drop kick there. You didn't see you saw that correctly. Now made it now Master teaching some respect to the young punk, as he feels. Master now. I have no idea what that was, but uh Minak got the better of him. One only one count. Clothesline by the, the newcomer. Duck of the clothesline again. Back body drop on the big man. Go for a spam buster now, is he? Oh, he is. Can Maniac finish him off? Are we setting him up? Are we going to see a spear, is it? Looks that way. It is. Spear. And perfect positioning from the referee for once. One, two... A maniac impressive over mass terror. Wow. I gotta give it to him. Yeah. Maniac did not beat no slouch there, ladies and gentlemen. That was mass terror. Okay, a veteran. A maniac. Mass Terry is, as you can tell, disappointed with that. Very well done for Maniac. Give this due. So we move on, ladies and gentlemen. We move on on that one. That was very impressive, I must admit. Um, even that caught me a little bit of surprise as well. But uh, fair play. Like I say, fair play. GMW, ladies and gentlemen. Aiden Wheeler has got something to say, and I know what he's going to say. Because he's going to call out somebody. Because, uh, well, let's face it, he's going to call out somebody. Because, uh, okay, now I'm confused. Anyway, he's going to call out somebody. 
have no idea what's going on with my thing, but maybe, I don't know. But uh, he's going to call out somebody, ladies and gents. And I know who it is, because this past week, he had the opportunity on Thursday to wrestle the killer. Because the killer came out and said he wanted to match, and I gave him the match, and I put him against this man. Because after last week, Aiden Wheeler did, dominated and destroyed Bane. Last week on this episode of GMW Underground. Last week on this program. However, Mr. Wheeler lost this past week. He tapped out to the killer. So I would imagine right now, he's going to call him out. Let's see what happens. Yes, not a happy man, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, I knew he was going to call him out. Are we going to get a rematch? I would imagine... Um, I would imagine he wants the rematch. But will the killer give him or give him that rematch? Will the killer give him the rematch? So here we go. Is the killer going to give Mr. Wheeler the rematch? And he is ex craving. Wheeler thought he was embarrassed, man. And I, to be honest, I agree with him. I have to agree with him. Um, in that respect, I have to agree with him that he was that he felt embarrassed. I am. I'm going to have to agree with him, man. But I have to agree with it because I was, I'll be honest with you, I was expecting Aiden Wheeler to dominate him. But Aiden dropped the ball, as they say. Maybe this is Aiden's way of looking to redeem himself. Because Aiden felt he was embarrassed, man. I think so. I, it's hard not to disagree. It is hard not to disagree. I mean, guys, I'm just checking some things. I 
Are these two gonna fight? Well, looks like the color has accepted a rematch. For what I've just read there, looks like the color has just accepted the rematch. Okay, you fight anyone, okay. Okay, okay, big man, okay. This Tuesday will be the rematch. Okay. I'm booking it now. This Tuesday will... Oh! The oh, fuck Tuesday. We'll have it right now. Yep. There's that Pele kick. That's what uh, the killer got this past. That's what the killer got this past week. And he's got the advantage again. Does he have Aiden Wheeler's number? It seems that way. The killer. Aiden Wheeler. And it's booked. This Tuesday on GMW. On twitch.tv forward slash games matter underscore. You want to see the match? Get yourself over there. This Tuesday on GMW. Rematch. Except this time. It's going to be a little bit different. Than their first match. But we'll see. But now we move on. We move on to the next match, which I believe is a rematch. From, I believe it was last week. Yeah. Colleen Masters Loco. What's up? What's up? What's up? Um, if you've just tuned in, ladies and gentlemen, this is an experiment. That I'm about to do right now. This is an experiment. Um, an experiment on this. <laughs> Coley Masters has been on quite the losing streak. Although she won at the Living for the Glory pay-per-view last season. In probably what the worst match on the card. But she's been dropping the ball in respects of her performance as well. However, she's been doing great on uh, LCW. So this is an experiment tonight. I saw LCW yesterday and I saw her win the match and it was in her attire. And she's been winning quite the matches on there. So this is an experiment tonight. Will she beat Red, the woman who beat her on her debut? And I believe it was on this very show. So are we going to see that now? We shall see. If you've just tuned in, ladies and gentlemen, the Mask Terror lost. That's right. Maniac dominated him in the opening contest of this of this episode of GMW Underground. That's right. The experienced Mask Terror lost to Maniac, and boy, did he ever lose to him. So Maniac, well, even though it was his first match and it was his debut, maybe one to uh, look out for if you know what I mean. Holy moly! But still to come, ladies and gentlemen, you've got this match. Now you've got Lady J one on one with Mercedes. If Lady J wins, she becomes the number one contender for the women's title and gets her rematch at Breakthrough. Also, also coming up, your first half main event: Loco Joe one on one with Maverick Fox, as well of the uh, Fallen Disciples or Douchebags or whatever the hell you want to call them. Also, a three way dance hardcore rules match. To determine the number one contender for the Hardcore Championship. I threw out a match on Tuesday because it got a little out of hand. This one will not get out of hand and it will not be thrown out. It will be decided tonight. It will be Raven. It will be Los Loco Lobos member Punishment Martinez. And it will be the Nightmare. One of them is going to get a Hardcore title match. Probably at the pay-per-view. We'll find out. But one of them is going to walk out of here tonight. Number one contender. Thank you for the follow. Tunga. Also, your co-main event is Logan Storm, one-on-one -on -one with OJJ. And the main event of the evening, the main event of the evening will be for the World Television Championship. It's going to be Billy Paragon challenging the Big Amish. Last week on this program, the Big Amish got confronted by Billy Paragon, and Billy Paragon took it to him. 
Will Big Amish make him regret that tonight? Also this past Tuesday as well, Billy Powgan made him tap out. And I'm talking about Big Amish in the three-way dance this past Tuesday. I think Big Amish will be looking for a receipt tonight. And also to keep that World Television Championship. Because at the moment right now, Big Amish is the World Heavyweight Champion and the World TV Champion as well. Yes, we have Colleen. Yes, we have Red. Let's do this. Can Colleen win this match? Or is that losing streak going to continue? Call an elbow tie up. Red puts it back in the corner. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm about that close. The clock is ticking on Colleen Masters as he... Uh, is rain here in GMW. I'm about so close to firing her. She has disappointed me on many occasions. She has really disappointed me on many occasions. And also, if you've just tuned in as well, Aiden Wheeler and Nikola had a bit of a brawl, and their rematch will be this Tuesday on GMW. They're going to have a rematch this pa this coming Tuesday on GMW. The last time them two fought, the killer used the local lock to get the victory. Will it happen this Tuesday? Find out. Oh my God! What a vicious clothesline over the top rope. Colleen now in control. Last time these two fought, Red got the uh, the victory. Colleen needs to step up a, a game and do it quick. Five. Oh my God. Six. Seven. I'm not cheering for anybody in this match right now, but I do want Colleen to do well. And I want her... To step up at least. I mean she was my inaugural women's champion for crying out loud. When this whole thing started. She was the inaugural GMW women's world champion for Christ's sake. And now look at her. She's turning into a jackhammer. A joke. Although she's been kicking ass in LCW. Maybe I should just let her go there. And just take care of the business there. Is Red looking for a count out of victory? Beautiful drop Six. kick. On the outside, by the way. Seven. Eight. Oh dear. Are we going to get a double count out? Nine. Wow. The leniency on the referee there. Either that or Red was just really quick. I'll give credit to the ref there for the leading scene, but... Go behind Carnot. Going up. Beautifully done. Belly the back suplex. Colleen Masters in trouble. Red. Going for this key crusher move. There it is. Master's in trouble. She needs to fight out of it. Superplex. Uh, snap suplex, rather. Beautifully done. Elbow to the back of the head. Ow. Inseguri, running Inseguri, I suppose. Either way, it worked. Snap mare, roundhouse kick to the back. That hurts. Go Mantago. Discus forearm. Oh, and Red was playing a little possum there. One. Re ref a little slow there, I'm not going to lie, but anyway. There's the head scissors that Colleen is known for. And that's usually the setup. Oh, she's going for the cover. One, 
two. Only a two count though. And we're going to see the AMK. She's the jumping DDT. She hits it. Pulls her away from the ropes. Is this it? One, uh, two, and oh, red. Kicks out. Well, this is Colleen's chance now. Belly the back side suplex. Is Colleen going to get this? There you go, clothesline. Colleen now in full control. Red in trouble. Tilt the world backbreaker. There's the running into Guri. Boy, did she hit that. Holy moly, did she hit that. Colleen up on top. Elbow to the back. Beautiful close uh, forearm there. Red going up on top. Coley needs to move. Will Coley move? No. Oh, she gets the knees up, though. Big splash. Missed. And there's the AMK. Pull her away from the ropes. Get the cover. And you've got her. You've got her. There you go. Ref. One. Two. And... How close can you get? What is this red made of, for crying out loud? Holy moly. I've got to admit, this is a better performance from Masters. Oh my god. Probably a crazy hurricane runner right there. One, two, and Colleen kicks out. Oh dear. Is Colleen in trouble here? Yes, she is in big time trouble. But, well, apparently Colleen didn't sell the finishing move because that was her finishing move. She's like, fuck that shit. There's a diving knee across the chest. Masters in control at this moment in time at least. Red's, Red's a fighter. And that's an insecurity of herself. I suppose that's Carmen on Colleen's part. She's hit that on three occasions in this match. Smartly rolls to the outside. Colleen needs a breather. Even if she wins this by a count out for some reason, but I don't think Colleen would want that. But either way, if she wins this by a count out, it is a better performance from Colleen. The supposed leader of the Undisputed Era is Colleen Masters, but will that take place? Is she leading the Undisputed Era still, or has she dumped them for three? I don't know where she stands on that. She's been focusing on trying to win matches to, stick, to keep her job here in GMW. You know what? We're going to have a rematch on Tuesday. Red knew she couldn't beat Colleen there. That was a better performance from Colleen. Red knew she couldn't beat her there. We're going to have a rematch on Tuesday. The return match is this Tuesday between them two. And there's going to be no count outs this time. Red knew there she couldn't beat. She had the chance to get in the ring there. She knew she couldn't beat Colleen at that particular point. That was a better performance from Colleen. I'm pleased with that. That was a better performance. Okay? There will be a rematch on Tuesday, except this time, Colleen has the opportunity to use a kendo stick because it's going to be no disqualifications. Colleen Red this Tuesday as well. So that's two matches made for Tuesday as well. Out the, out the back end of this, at least. But, but I'm pleased with that. I have to admit, I'm pleased with that for Colleen's sake because that was a better performance. That was a much better performance. Very pleased with that. 
Very pleased. Much better performance from Colin Masters. Right. It's simple, guys. This match should have took place the first match on the season premiere. Thunder Rosa got involved. Okay. So we're having the match now. Except this time it is... Um, no female mafia. It's just going to be Lady J going against Mercedes. If Lady J wins this match and break through, she will get her rematch for the women's title. She's been begging me all week for a rematch. And I've said to her, the only way you're going to get your rematch on is if you earn it. Tonight's your night. You win this match tonight, you get your rematch. I'll give you a rematch at the pay-per-view. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe the original tyre is the key. Maybe taking her out. Maybe it's time to take her out of the, uh, the Undisputed Era and have her create her own Undisputed Era. We don't know. Maybe the Undisputed Era is not what she needs. But that was a better performance. And like I say, Red knew there. That's why she got the d double car now. I'm not having anybody who tells me otherwise. Red knew there she couldn't beat Colleen there. Red knew she couldn't beat Colleen there. That was a far different Colleen Masters than what Red beat the first time they met. There will be a rematch on Tuesday. And there's going to be no disqualifications. So there'll be no card outs, no nothing. The pinfall must be in the ring. So Red has to beat Colleen. But I'm pleased with the performance of Colleen in that respect. Very pleased with the, with the performance. Much better on the performance. I don't know why she didn't do that in the fucking first place. She's supposed to be my goddamn inaugural women's champion for Pete's sake. You know, she set the standard in the women's division here hey. at GMW. Speaking of the women's division, there's your women's champion. The woman who fulfilled the dream last season, which was a great story, to be honest with you, because she had three opportunities at the women's title while Lady J was the champion, failed. The third time, she wasn't allowed, the stipulation was she wasn't allowed to challenge for the women's title. Amanda Drake, who returned this past Tuesday, got the opportunity... One beat Lady J for the women's title, which allowed Mercedes to be back in, because the stipulation was as long as, Mercedes, as long as Lady J was the women's champion, Mercedes couldn't have the title shot. So Amanda Drake beat her, Mercedes came back in, and not only that, Mercedes got the rematch and won it at the Living for the Glory pay-per-view. The two nights spectacular. But this is non-title, because this is now Lady J's opportunity. Lady J... Lady J who is the god sister or godmother, whatever you want to call her, of the mafia? She's the leader of the mafia, the female version. She's been begging me all week, pretty much, to get at least an opportunity to get a a, a chance at her belt and bring the belt back to the mafia. I said, fine, you can do that. But you know the mafia, we're all about fair here. If you want your match, you earn it. And this is her opportunity to earn it. I gave her the opportunity to have it on the season premiere when GMW first returned on Twitch. But Thunder Rosa put an end to that. So now Thunder Rosa seems to be the new enforcer of the female mafia. And Alex Winters, who Lady J has been getting pally pally over on on uh, LCW, has, has came to. Uh, as she's brought her to GMW to form the mafia. Has Mercedes got her hands full? I mean, the Mafia won the six-woman tag, or what became the six-woman tag match, by a count-out this past week. So, Mercedes would be looking for a receipt, but at the end of the day, it's probably Karma on Mercedes, to be fair, because she got out of the three-on-one beatdown by getting a double count-out. So, maybe that was Karma, the Mafia winning the, the six-woman tag match by a count-out, who knows. Mercedes in the corner now with Lady J. Lady J in a little bit of trouble. 
still to come, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, up next, your first half main event. Maverick Fox one-on-one -on -one with Loco Joe. Loco asks for it, and he's got it. And after what happened on Tuesday, was it Tuesday? What happened on Tuesday with, Lo with OJJ, will Maverick Fox beat Loco Joe the way he did OJJ? Except the match with OJJ is a little different tonight. Because it's Maverick Fox, Loco Joe, no disqualifications. As well. Also still to come tonight. Three-way dance. Extreme rules. Three-way dance for the right to become the number one contender for the Hardcore Championship. After the match was thrown out on Thursday, I've decided to book it tonight. Three-way dance. The Nightmare, who made his debut on Thursday. And no offense, did quite the show in two. Versus Raven versus Punishment Martinez. Los Loco Lobos member, Punishment Martinez. One of them will get a hardcore title match. Will Punishment Martinez get the chance to bring hardcore gold to the Lobos? We'll find out tonight. Will Nightmare prove his dominance as well? Or prove something as well? Or will Raven be back in business? We'll see what happens later on. That will be your... That's coming up in the second half. The beginning of the second half. Also... We'll be hearing from Ray Wolf later on as well. Because apparently Mr. Ray Wolf, who's been quite having the feud with uh, Mr. O.A., has a proposition or something or wants to talk to Mr. O.A. We'll find out later on what happens in that match. In that segment later on. And also, your main event of this evening, ladies and gentlemen, is for the World Television Championship. It's for the World TV title. It is the Big Amish, one-on-one -on -one with Billy Paragon. Last week on this program, Billy Paragon got in the face of the Big Amish. This past Tuesday, Billy Paragon made the Big Amish tap out in the three-way dance to the chicken wing. And also, not only that, after that close line from hell, one, two, and Lady J gets a rematch, Billy Paragon beat the number one contender for the World Championship. Are we looking at the new TV champion? Find out later on. And Lady J, dominant against Mercedes there. The leader of the Mafia gets her rematch. And these two will meet a breakthrough for the women's title. Seems to be some respect there between the two. As well. Some respect is looming between the two. Interesting. But these two have had some battles, so it doesn't surprise me that there is respect there, to be honest with you. But is Mercedes falling into the trap of the female mafia? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why is that there? Okay. Okay, why is that there? That wasn't there. Are you serious? Oh, come on. You know what, guys? A little switch around. You're getting the matches. Okay, we're going to do a little switch around. Okay, no, no. Okay, fucking 2K is knocking up the thing. No, 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 no. We're not doing it that way. We don't, we don't roll like that here in GMW. Okay, the matches were local versus, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You're going to get the matches. You're getting the matches, guys. You're getting the matches. I advertise what I advertise here on GMW. Okay. So we're going to get the matches now. Okay. Thanks for the follow. -up. Yeah. It's because I take it. It's it's because I receipted it. Um. Right. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. You're going to get your matches. 2K is not allowing that. I'm not allowing 2K to do that. That's fine. Thanks for the like as well. Um, 
I can see it. Okay, that's fine. I know how to do this. I know how to work with this. 2K are not doing this to me. I don't know why they just... I, I, I promoted the matches. I booked the matches. I saved them. But then they still changed them. Fuck that. Okay. I can see it. Okay. So, boom. Select the in there. It's no disqualifications. I can see it, guys. I advertise what I give you. When I give you what I advertise, I give you it. Okay? Okay? I always deliver in what I do here on GMW. Whether fucking 2K likes it or not. It's, plus, it's because I did some changes at the beginning of the... Uh, at the beginning of the uh, thing, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot to do something and then obviously they've changed it, haven't they? So here we go. This was your first half main event. Right here, ladies and gentlemen. Maverick Fox one-on-one -on -one with Loco Joe. And it is no disqualifications. This was what was advertised. And then after this match, it'll be a three-way dance. Hardcore rules. Three-way dance with Raven, the Nightmare, and Punishment Martinez for the number one contender for the hardcore title. Then it'll be... OJJ, Logan Storm, Ray Wolf will be calling out Mr. OA, and then it'll be the World Television title match. As well. It'll be the World's TV title match. And if that's being taken off as well, and if that's being taken off as well, the World TV title uh, advertising, it doesn't matter. It's still going to be for the World TV title match. If Billy Paragon wins, I'll hand him the belt afterwards. Okay? You're not beating me, 2K. No, 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 no. I don't know why they don't freaking allow it for anyway. Appreciate all the follows, guys, and all the likes. Thank you to everybody who's been here. One thing you will understand here on Facebook, ladies and gentlemen, Loco knows about this as well. I always deliver what I advertise. What I advertise, we're in Springfield, Illinois, ignore that. Okay? I always deliver what I advertise here on GMW. I advertised this match. Mavic Fox one on one with Loco Joe, you're gonna get it. Boom. You're gonna get the three way dance as well. The following contest is an extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring. It's not an extreme rules match, but it's no disqualification, but you get the point. Weighing in at 400 pounds. Either way, it's no disqualification. Either way, it's no disqualification. Maybe pinfalls or everywhere may be a good thing to solve this. But this is what Loco asked for. This is what Loco asked for. And this is what Loco's going to get. But the problem is, in this match, I want no excuses. I want no excuses. Good thing I'm... Good thing as well, ladies and gentlemen, that I do this through OBS. Maverick Fox one on one with Loco Joe. This was what was advertised. And this is what I'm giving you. Like I say, 2K ain't ruining my shows. No, 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 no. This guy beat OJJ on Tuesday. And probably what was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. But the, the thing that pissed me off about his victory on OJJ on, OJJ on Tuesday, the thing that pissed me off. The thing that really got on my nerves with that win was the fact that he used Azriel's old finishing move, which led to the beatdown that I gave him with OJJ when we beat up uh, Robert Styles and uh, Maverick Fox on, on uh, Thursday in that Extreme Rules tag team match. We beat them up. And that's what we do in the Mafia. We beat people up. As well. Different look to Loco. I think with that entrance, he's been watching fucking what I call it a little too much. A new side to Loco, I guess you could say. I wonder if you got that entrance from the uh, the Bray Wyatt Randy Orton angle on there in IRL. But anyway, former World Heavyweight Champion. Former heavyweight champion of the world. As well. My <clears throat> business partner when it comes to this. 
You know, we've had our rivalries here in GMW and in LCW2. Also, this coming Monday, it's me and this man one-on-one -on -one in the main event of Mayhem. As well. What the fuck? Yep, he's definitely been watching the uh, the Bray Wyatt, uh, what they call it, angle. A little too much. Maverick Fox must be in the ring right now thinking, what the fuck is going on? Apparently the Creeper likes it. Now we're talking. Apparently the Creeper likes it, yeah. Yes, local Joe, the former world's heavyweight champion. Definitely been watching the Bray Wyatt, uh, Randy Orton angle a little bit too much with that entrance. But in any event, is he in the head of Maverick Fox? We'll find out now. This is your main event of the evening, local Joe, or the main event of the first half. The Augusta, thank you for the follow. If you're hearing any noises in the background, guys, I do have some streams open. I do have some streams open. Right, Maverick Fox. And the forearm, that rocked the big man. And yeah, I'm just saying there, the Creeper must love that. The Creepers are a big fan of your entrance, apparently. Now we're talking. Okay. Even though no one was talking, but anyway. Um, Loco Joe, Maverick Fox. Loco's been having quite the victories. He beat uh, Evil Eyes this past week. Put Evil, Evil Eyes in his place. And then uh, got a no disqual uh, got a double card out against uh, Hannibal Black this past Thursday as well. Like I said, this is a Extreme Rules no disqualification match. Whatever commentator what it was. I didn't want no double card outs in this match. Loco asked for this match. As well, he wanted a shot at the big man. And he's going to get a shot at the big man. Although it might be a little rough if he's doing uh, belly to belly suplexes. I'm also thinking this past week, Atomic Drop running boot. I'm also thinking this coming Tuesday as well, I'm going to do a rematch between uh, Hannibal Black and Loco Joe. I don't know. But it seems that Loco has his eyes on a certain The Killer. Because Loco is not very happy with The Killer for beating Adrian Wheeler with his move last week. So, we'll see what happens. Like I say, coming up in the next... in At the start of the second half, ladies and gentlemen. Despite 2K's bullshit. It's going down. It is a three-way dance. It is for the number one contendership to the Hardcore Championship. It is Raven, Punishment Martinez, and the Nightmare. Whoever wins this gets Drex for the Hardcore title. And also, I'm going to explain some stuff in the <clears throat> interval as well. Uh, how you can join GMW, how you can be a part of this, have your character be a part of this. Also, as well, what I'm doing for future pay-per-views as well for the pay-per-view run here with GMW as well. I'm thinking of doing things a little different. I'll explain all during the interval, so listen up for that. I've already explained a little bit of it during the um, the introduction. He was going for the local lock there, but uh, Maverick might have had that scouted. Beautiful. Loco Joe now in trouble. The big man has the man in the corner. Or not. 
Lucas like, fuck that. I think Lo Loco lured him into that. And he had him dazed there as well. Head scissors in. Elbows to the top of the beam. Pointing the elbow right on the top of the beam. As well. Great wrestling between the two, the two so far. The big man. He deserved that bulldog. That roaring bullshit got him a bulldog for it. Armlock. Yeah, maybe a future submission match with the color and local Joe coming up very soon here in GMW. The battle of the local locks coming soon. One of my favourite moments last season on GMW is when Goldberg did that, turned around and got a chair in his head. And I love you, Bill, but you did deserve that. Oh, and a running local boot there after that slingshot spear got him a two count. That's the local boot. A one, two, and Maverick kicks out. Thank you for the follow, Umar. Appreciate all the follows, guys. Thank you all for the support here on Facebook. Whether I stream, whether I put the videos on there. There's the local lock. Ref, keep an eye on that rope break. Rope break still counts. And there you go. Maverick Fox taps out. And Local Joe is your winner. Eat your heart out the killer. As well. Maverick Fox taps out to the local one. Beautiful match between the two, but also, but ladies and gentlemen, that is why Loco is a former world heavyweight champion. He'd be looking to get his belt back, but somewhere down the road, ladies and gentlemen, he has to wrestle Hulk Hogan. Because like I say, it's one fall apiece between them two, and sooner or later, here in GMW, you're going to get Loco versus Hogan 3. At some point. Yeah. Big message to the killer as well. Gotta admit, Loco has been winning some big matches, man. Is this gonna put him back in the line for the world title shot? For the world title match. Right. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, at the start of this second half. Again, despite 2K's bullshit, I apologise for that, ladies and gentlemen. But like I say, I always deliver my matches. When I advertise them, they get delivered. Not 2K's delivery. It's me. I run the show here in GMW. Nobody else. I'm the booker. I'm the matchmaker, creator, wrestler, whatever the hell you want to call me. GMW is my baby. Not 2K's, even though it's on 2K game. But coming up after this, ladies and gents, after this beautiful little interval, I will go through... The matches, I will go through how to get here in GMW. I will do it after the um, the match that's coming up next, the hardcore match as well. But coming up next is a hardcore triple threat, three-way dance, whatever the hell you want to call it. Hardcore rules match, Raven, the Nightmare, and Punishment Martinez. The winner gets a title shot at Drex. All of that is coming up right after this. This is GMW. This is the Underground. We don't care, we don't care when you call our name We don't care, we don't care, we are just the same We ignore the race and we ignore the fire
Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Three-way dance, extreme rules. And for those of you that are wondering, what the hell is that theme song? Who is that theme song? Check them out on YouTube, you guys. On lap. They are the content creators bad, I suppose you can say, as well. They have a lot more good songs as well. Besides that, that is called Miracle. Uh, you might hear some of the songs here on YouTube, on the Facebook as well, some of the alert songs as well. Um, they are content creators. That means they make their music, but they don't give a you-know-what about this copyright stuff. They've even said it themselves. People are welcome to use their music for content, as like content like I do here. So that's why they are the official theme song for GMW, whether it's the pay-per-views, pretty much. But they are the GMW theme song as well. And I love the song, and I listen to the song in my car as well. So, yes, do not forget, ladies and gents, as well. Um, do not forget, ladies and gentlemen, as well. Besides all of this, everything that's going on, this is a three-way dance, extreme rules. The winner of this gets a title shot as well. Uh, a hardcore, a shot at the hardcore championship is on the horizon, ladies and gentlemen. Shot the hardcore title for the for one of these guys as well. Here we go. I should start doing these matches, man, on here. You know, doing them like this mainly as well. We're in Springfield, Illinois. Fu2K. Look at this guy. Fucking hell. The following contest is a triple threat extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring from Istanbul, Turkey. Weighing in at 640 pounds. I can believe that. A nightmare. I can believe he's 600 and odd pounds. And the size of this guy? Are you kidding me? And this guy's going to be going for the hardcore title. Okay. Or could have an opportunity to become the hardcore champion. Good God almighty. Look at the size of this guy. Fucking hell. Are you serious right now? Holy cow. As Martin Lawrence said in Bad Boys, this is a big motherfucker. Let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Unlike Tuberman, I believe he is 600 pounds. Tuberman walks around calling himself 500 pounds and everything. Anyway. Pushman Martinez representing the Los Loco Lobos. Grand Slam winner here in GMW as well. He's a former GMW World Tag Team Champion as well as Television Champion and World Champion. Hell, at one point he was the Television Champion. About a week or so later, he became the World Champion as well. But now he is back in the Lobos. First from New York, New York, weighing in at 251 pounds, the Punisher, Damien Price. Damien Price, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise known as Punishment Martinez. Damien Price is an NXT name as well. Just to let you know. Damien Price is the NXT name. As well. By the way, guys, if you follow me on social media, I've also um, put out a link to my, or put out a, a picture to my uh, Call of Duty thing. If you want to add me on Call of Duty, please do so, because I'm loving Call of Duty at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. I'm playing Call of Duty uh, Cold War a lot at the moment, and I'm loving it as well. I also want to do GM, uh, GMW. I also want to do uh, GTA as well, because... I've got the heist to do, but it's boring as hell to do it on stream, going around searching for stuff that you need for the heist on the island. It's a pain in the ass to do. Raven, that is known, former ECW World Heavyweight Champion, well, tag team champion in ECW too, and 
from a United States champion in WCW as well as tag team champion in WCW too. I don't think he was ever hardcore champion in WCW. He was definitely hardcore champion in WWE. And I think that's it. I don't think he, any, he ever had any, that, any more belts in uh, WWE besides the hardcore title. This is his TNA look, as you're seeing right now. And using the uh, the weekly the weekly uh, pay-per-views that the TNA used to do. Boy, do I miss them days. I could watch them right now. I could go and get the... Uh, the impact on demand thing. I can go and do that right now and get that sorted out. But uh, yeah. What the fuck is that? Why am I getting so. Oh my god. The stuff of the. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just reading something here, guy. Uh, Twitch channel. Thank you. Look, pleasantly surprised, haha. Content. What do you mean, pleasantly surprised? Content is awesome, though. Of course, you know this means war. A new sniping run. I'm going to do animated BRB intro and offline for your channel screen. Uh, take a look at the site in my Twitch profile pic. Regards, Call of Duty, da -da 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 -da. probably one of the best. Uh, Cold War, probably one of the best uh, games of this oversaturated genre. Well, I appreciate the comments there on my Twitch. I only just noticed that there. But anyway, three-way dance, hardcore rules. Whoever wins this gets a championship match. What the hell did Raven do there for? I don't know, but... I think they want to team up against the Nightmare and get rid of this Nightmare. Martinez and uh, Raven, that is. In my opinion. In my opinion. Um, they might want to get rid of the Nightmare. Just my opinion. But... Uh, you never know. Because if Drex has to face this guy, and I'm talking about the Nightmare when I say that, if Drex has to face the Nightmare, he may kiss his belt goodbye, if you know what I mean. Ooh, what a roundhouse kick from Martinez. I say Martinez is no slouch, ladies and gentlemen, although he might be after the taking that spine buster. Raven now with a kendo stick. Like I say, it's hardcore rules. He puts the kendo stick down. There's not much he can do at the moment when Nightmare and uh, Martinez are fighting. Martinez did take a uh, belly to belly suplex. One. And you get one count, though. Well, GMW will be back next week as well on Facebook. GMW Underground Episode 3 will be back next week. Or the third installment of GMW Underground will be here next week. So uh, look out for that as well. Next Saturday, same time as always. Right here on the YouTube, on the Facebook page. Streamed live exclusively on the Facebook page as well. Also on, on Twitch tomorrow. T Twitch tomorrow will be reruns of the first two episodes GMW Ep Underground 1 GMW 2 today as well both of these two episodes will be on the YouTube on the Facebook page tomorrow uh, on the Twitch page tomorrow so I will be doing a rerun it'll be between 7 o'clock UK time and 8 o'clock UK time between them two so more like it be 7 so like I said we'll see what happens but both of them will be back to back as well. 
so when one finish you'll go straight into the other one so it'll more likely finish about 11 o'clock my time and I won't and I might be around in the chat guys I might not be but please understand that it is a rerun and I will remind everybody about that as well over the social media platform I've seen a lot of people going to people's streams and type in the chat like the person's online not knowing it's a rerun it's like for God's sakes are you that stupid One, two, Martinez kicks out. One of these guys, like I say, three-way dance elimination as well, guys. One of these guys will be, one of these guys will be number one contender for the hardcore title. Uh, Martinez wants to bring that belt to the logos. I don't think I don't think nobody's ever had the hardcore title in the logos. I might be wrong. I don't think nobody's ever had the hardcore championship in the logos. Well, Martinez might have a headache after that. He just took a chair right in the face. Uh, Nightmare got out of that very well, I might add. And now he's got Raven. Choke slam. Raven on the choke slam. One. This is the end of Raven. Two and three. Raven is eliminated. This is not good news, or it doesn't seem to be good news for uh, the punishment one. And the referee takes the referee's in the way, and he takes the sledgehammer. Could that be an opening for the nightmare? No, Martinez can't, is it? I mean, Martinez is no slouch, also, ladies and gentlemen. You can see he's a former world champion. You know, he's a former world champion in his own right. But will he be able to get past the big man? Oh, he will if he keeps doing that. He beat the piss out of him. I like that. I like the strategy from Martinez. And somewhere his bot, his, his, his comrade, Loco, is probably having a big grin on his face right now. It's a nightmare. Nightmare is looking to make, he's making quite the big impact at the moment. There's a vicious clothesline. And running off the ropes and... I guess that's the big E splash. That's 600 pounds coming down on the chest of Martinez. One, two. And the nightmare gets the number one contender. Drex, you're in trouble, pal. That's all I'm saying. We may very well be looking at a dominant hardcore champion. Or a dominant future hardcore champion. The nightmare is the number one contender for the hardcore title. I tell you this right now, I wouldn't want to be Drex. <laughs> I would not want to be Drex right now. Drex at the moment is walking around with a hardcore title. Oh boy. That's all I'm saying. Is this guy going to be GMW's nightmare? Are we looking at the next hardcore champion of GMW? I wouldn't put my money against it, I'll be honest with you. Wow. I'm not surprised. But <laughs> I'm not surprised Martinez tapped out to that. That's 600 pounds coming down on your chest, ladies and gentlemen. Good grief. Right. I'm going to put this on here. And we'll go into the next match. But I want to, I want to bring something up, guys, as well. If you want to be a part of GMW, here's the deal. If you want to be a part of GMW, that's fine. Okay, if you want to be a part of GMW, mwah, you are welcome to do so. Here's the deal, okay? If you are a part of GMW, here's the facts. Go onto my Discord. My Discord link will be down somewhere down below in the description. Join GMW. If you have an Xbox, put your formula in there as well. Put your formula in the Xbox and put yourself in there. Put all the details in there that you need and everything um, as well. Put all the details you need in there and go from there, basically, as well. So we'll see what happens on that. Get your details in there.
as well. If you have a PS4, you don't need to do that. Or if you have a PlayStation, you don't need to do that. Uh, if you have a PlayStation, you can still put the details in the G if you're in the Discord and everything. Um, if you're not comfortable putting it in there, if you don't want to put it in there, my Discord DM is always open, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a dis if you have a PlayStation, all you got to do is upload your character to the community creations using the hashtag GMW. Let me know, and I'll download it. That's all you got to do. Okay, that's all you got to do. Whisper me it, DM me it, whatever you need to do. Okay, whatever you need to do. Also, as well, regarding pay-per-views. Now, the next pay-per-view for GMW is February 4th because it's breakthrough. But what I'm thinking of doing after that is, now I do GMW three times a week. Um, pretty much, you know, the two shows on Thursday, this on the Saturday. What I'm thinking of doing as well is doing the pay-per-views on the Saturday but doing the pay-per-views on Twitch. Me coming over here for a couple of hours on a Saturday, you know, getting warmed up and whatever, like I've done before. Um, but doing the pay-per-view on the Saturday. I could come over here and do maybe a preview show here before the pay-per-view. A preview stream here um, before the pay-per-view and then go straight over to Twitch and do the pay-per-view over there. Not a bad idea, really, is it? So... Um, I don't want to do this, so Underground may take some time off that week if I do the pay-per-view. But what I'm thinking of doing is doing the go-home shows Tuesdays and Thursdays and then do the pay-per-view on the Saturday instead, but do it on Twitch as well. Um, and maybe do a preview show over here on Facebook as well because, I'm to be honest with you, I'm getting bored Going into doing the doing the go home shows like I'm going to be doing next week, doing the go home shows Tuesdays and Thursdays, doing GMW Underground next week as well because Underground will be back next week, and then going into the pay per views on the Thursday because the first show February fourth first show after the pay per view will be Underground will be the Underground show because the Underground will take place on Saturday and that will be February sixth so yeah so I'm thinking of scrapping all that and just doing. After the breakthrough, doing um, the go home shows Tuesdays and Thursdays, and just scrapping it and going straight into the pay per view on the Saturday, but doing it on Twitch, you know, doing some sort of a preview show over here early doors, and then going straight into the pay per view on the Twitch. Sounds like a bloody good idea to me. To be honest with you, uh, oh, for fuck's sake! Ah. Oh. Anyway, whatever. Apparently, uh, what I call it's messed up my uh, thing, but that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We've had the matches. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, we'll go back over here now. No, we fuck don't off. Care you I love you, but I don't want you right now. We're going to the co-main event, ladies and gentlemen. So that's just an idea right there, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, it's not advertised as the television championship, but your main event is for the World TV title. It is for the World Television title. Later on, will Big Amish retain the belts? Or are we going to have a new TV champion? We'll find out later on. So, yes. And also, still to come as well, Ray Wolf wants to have a little chat with Mr. O.A., so we'll see what happens on that as well. So, like I can say, guys, appreciate everybody who's been here so far as well. But that's what I'm thinking of doing because it really bores the hell out of me. Um, it's boring the hell out of me that I'm going in, that I'm doing the go-home shows on the two. Um, I'm doing the go-home shows on the, t the two um, days, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then I'm going into the pay-per-view the next week. It's it, it's boring me, you know. So now if now that I'm doing GMW three times a week, pretty much twice on Twitch, once on the Facebook, why not do the pay per views on the pay per view week? Do the pay per view on the Twitch. Don't worry, Facebook, you will get the pay per views on here as well because I'll upload them on here as well. So you're good on that as well. But get it, do, but stream it live on here. But come on here and do a. Like a preview show on here to make up for the time as well. And then and then after that pay-per-view is done and everything, go back to Underground the following week. Sounds like a bloody good idea to me. I'm definitely down for that. 
you know, defo down for that, man. Apologies for the notifications there, ladies and gents. But I'm definitely interested. I'm definitely interested in doing that, ladies and gents. Definitely interested in doing that. Like I say, because it is boring that uh, be, you know go into that kind of thing. So Maverick Fox tapped out to local early run in the evening. Last week, this man probably had one of the greatest matches in GMW's history against Robert Styles of the Fallen Disciples. Will he do that tonight with Logan? And will he beat Logan as well? Well, he definitely proved he was a technician last week on GMW when he wrestled uh, when he wrestled uh, Robert Styles. This man is scheduled to face Hannibal Black at Breakthrough in a grudge match. Renew of a rivalry. Orange Juice Jones' second appearance here on uh, on uh, Underground. I believe it was Loco's first appearance on Underground, I'm not sure. But, uh, like I say, it's still to come, ladies and gentlemen. It is for the world TV title. Yeah, the technician himself, Mr. OJJ. Elbows. I say, proving himself to be the better wrestler out of the two, at least. Trying to be, at least. Elbow. Another elbow. Another elbow. And another elbow. And... An elbow. A running boot there, I suppose. Again, the elbows and the dusty blows. Logan Storm. And the referee gets knocked over again. The referee's been hit twice tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He's been hit with the... Uh, He's been hit. He's, he's been hit with the uh, what the caller tonight as well, which I love. Oh, and a right hand, vicious right hand, a clothesline from hell. Elbow, 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 and even more elbows. What did you think of these dusty rows? Deadlift, gut wrench, suplex, one. Deadlift, gut wrench, suplex, two. And deadlift, gut wrench, suplex, three. Three amigos, except it was a gut wrench, three amigos. Sort of a reverse. I suppose that was a sliced bread there. Kick there, misses, OJJ back in control. And there's that uh, cookie the clutch that he likes to use. Well, he has been using. I was going to say, I'm going to see another tap out. We saw one earlier on with uh, Maverick Fox. Are we going to see another one? Super kick, what the fuck was that? Am I still on Lani? Bloody hell. Super kick. Apologies if there was a bit of uh, argy-bargy there. 
Probably not. Beautiful suplex. OGJ is fast becoming the technician of the Mafia. Elbow from the top. Cover. Excellent. Can OJJ put away Logan Storm? Oh, he's going for a power bomb, but Logan carded. A great carded too by Logan Storm, I might add. The clothesline. Or oh, forearm, sorry. Forearm. Another forearm. This swing blade. Storm back in this. Probably wasn't very happy to see his old bot, to see one of his uh, comrades tap out earlier on. That's a frog splash. And a vicious frog splash in that. How about dedicating something to Eddie? Oh my god, and OJJ kicks out. Are we going to have a same as last week? Robert Styles hitting the. Uh, about four moves on, on OJJ. But OJJ still manages to kick out. That's a jumping knee, and OJJ kicks out of that. Or the loco knee, if you will. I believe Loco Joe has done that a few times as well. Oh, there's the jumping knee, running jumping knee, but OJJ is back up on his feet. Snap Mare. Goes for the knee into the back. OJJ gets out of it. Goes for a jumping knee himself. OJJ can as that. Is it a power bomb? Turnbuckle bomb? Or buckle bomb? No. Beautiful, just dumps him right across. I suppose you can call that a power bomb snake eyes. Or snake eyes from the power bomb position. Either way it works. Dragon screw on there. Uh, Logan Storm, and there's the whipper snap on the freshly squeezed cutter, as OJJ likes to call it. On the freshly squeezed stutter, I should say. One, two. OJJ beats Logan Storm. Once you hit that freshly squeezed stunner, you ain't getting anything out of that, let me tell you. Decent match either way, but OJJ gets the victory. Ladies and gents, OJJ gets the victory. And a great victory it was too, I might add. JJ with the victory in this co-main event. Will he be able to do that to Hannibal Black? A breakthrough. We'll see what happens. Right. Coming up next, Ray Wolf has got something to say. And then it's the main event. Which I'm going, to, I know what to do for the main event. I know what to do for the main event, ladies and gentlemen. I've just caught it into my brain. I know what to do for the main event. Right. Here we go, peeps. Is Ray Wolf. Ray Wolf's going to call out the man. Uh, on Mr. O.A.'s debut, he beat Mr. O.A. as well. He did. Did a good job too, my dad. He beat Mr. O.A. And then on, um, I think it was the rematch as well. The rematch. He beat, uh, he lost by a can out. Mr. O.A. took a can out victory. So technically they are one, one apiece in this series or whatever's developing out of these two. But uh, I don't think OJ. I don't think Ray Wolf's happy with what happened in the card out victory, man. 
And to be fair, I don't blame him. To be fair. To be fair, I really don't blame him. If things are a little slow, ladies and gentlemen, bear with it because... Well, GMW Underground will be back next week. Right here, same time as always. Yep, Mr. Orway. I think he wants to put Mr. Orway in a, in a hospital bed. It should be very interesting. Mr. O.A. Had quite the debut on LCW this past week as well. I might add. Had quite the debut. Right. Loco Joe as well. I don't know. I mean, we all know the main event for a breakthrough will be John Moxley and uh, John Moxley and um, what I call it as well. Uh, John Moxley and. Uh, Big Amish for the world title. I think I've got something in mind for this week's, for this coming week's uh, go home shows, if you will. As well, just come up with an idea. Yes, if you've just tuned in, ladies and gentlemen, don't adjust your sets. That is Mr. OA. Uh, Yes, he looks like a really cross between Ultimo Dragon and Mr. JL. But he's talented. And uh, he's been having issues with uh, Ray Wolf. Like I said, when Mr. OA made his debut here in GMW, Ray Wolf was the guy who beat him in his debut match. 
And then on the rematch, Mr. Oway got a cut out victory. And I've got a funny feeling these two are going to end up meeting at some point. Again, are we going to have the rubber match between the two? I think I've got an idea. Do you know what? Scratch that Hannibal Black um, match. I'll leave that for Thursday. I have an idea for, th for uh, Tuesday. Actually, let's do that on Tuesday, but I have an idea for Thursday's episode. Yeah, I have an idea for Thursday's episode. How about we do this on Thursday? How about we have the Lost Local Lobos in themselves, Ray Wolf and Loco Joe. How about they go up against the team of The Killer and Mr. O.A. this Thursday on GMW. Oh! I like that tag match. That's a pretty damn good tag match. Beautiful uh, snap. Clothesline miss and then another clothesline on the left as well. Yeah, this match is not over. And like I said, that's going to be the match on there as well. Will we see anything on Tuesday? But the tag match is set for next Thursday. In the Go Home Show 2. This Thursday on Twitch, it will be Mr. OA teaming with The Killer against Ray Wolf and Loco Joe. So that should be a classic, let me tell you. Right, guys. One more time. One more time. One more time. Let's do this. GMW each and every week on Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash Games Matter Mafia. Right here on the Facebook page. You do not want to miss it. Stream live here each and every week. Okay? So, yes. Okay. This it doesn't count. Uh, Random as the winner. This doesn't count anyway. Because I'm going to do it a little different as well. Um. Also, guys, if you've just tuned in as well, we've had, this is what we've had tonight. I'll show you what we've had tonight, um, if I can find it. There we go. M Maniac dominating Mass Terror. I don't think we've seen the last of this match, but Maniac dominating Mass Terror. Go back and watch that match. Adrian Wheeler, a um, Aiden Wheeler and, um, I always hear Adrian for some reason. Aiden Wheeler and The Killer got into a brawl. Their rematch is this Tuesday. Coley Masters and Red ended in a double counter, although I was very impressed with Coley. That was a better performance from Coley. I'm very impressed with that. Their rematch is this Tuesday too. Lady J gets her rematch against Mercedes, and that will be a breakthrough. Thursday, February 4th, it will be... Lady J challenging Mercedes for the Women's Championship. And as you clearly just saw there as well, Logan Storm loses to OJJ. Also, we've had Maverick Fox and... Uh, Maverick Fox and... Loco Joe. Loco Joe made Maverick Fox tap out. And The Nightmare is the number one contender after winning the three-way hardcore rules match with him, Raving, and Punishment Martinez. So the Nightmare will wrestle Drex for the world hardcore title. And you know what? I might make that next Saturday. We'll see what happens. Like I said, I'll decide that as well. But I do need a main event for next Saturday. I don't know. We will see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we are going to see what happens as well so let's get out of this let's get into this it wasn't a no disqualification match anyway but yes we're going to have it now ladies and gentlemen and billy paragon one-on-one -on -one with the big amish for the world tv title like i say it was advertised and i'm going to advertise it right now ladies and gents so here we go. Just bear with me a second. Like I say, not even not even Facebook can stop my bullshit. Stop the bullshit. Not even 2K can stop me from putting on a great show for my audience. Custom there. Da, 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 da. Right. 
and championships. And put that there. Here we go, people. GMW World Television Championship. It is the Big Amish and Billy Paragon. GMW World TV title. The World's Television title is on the line. And it's on the line now. Here we go, people. For the World's TV title. And the first time you'll get to see the World Television title this season here on GMW as well. On GMW Dynamite 2, which was last season, right before the pay-per-view, the Living for the Glory pay-per-view, the Two Night Spectacular, it was Billy Paragon. It was actually Big Amish who destroyed Killer for the World TV title and became the World's Television Champion. Going into that pay-per-view, at the pay at the going into the pay-per-view, um as the TV champion, but this is for the World TV title. We're still in Springfield, Illinois. Here we go. And is for the World's Television Champion. I don't know why it does that big white thing across. I don't know. But this is for the World's TV title. Are we looking at the next television champion? Hockey, but talented world number one contender for the television title, Billy Paragon. He's a bit on the roll. Like I say, he's won. He beat Evil Eyes. He won a three-way dance. He won a three-way dance to win the tele to win the right to fight for the TV title, which involved Matsuda Killer, uh, which involved Matsuda and Ray Wolf. He called out last week on here, on this episode of On Underground, he called out the television champion and got in his face. He got in his face. And then this past week, he won a three-way dance involving John Moxley and the Big Amish, made the Big Amish tap out to a chicken wing and won that three-way dance. And then not only this past Thursday, he, wins, he beats the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship as well, John Moxley. He's been on a hell of a roll. Is he going to walk out of here as world's television champion? We're about to find out. There it is, guys. And there's the brand new world TV title. The Big Amish. A new attitude, Big Amish. This guy's... This guy's big, man. This guy's got a hell of an attitude on him. I'll give him that. This guy's got one hell of an attitude. But it seems to be working for him. Because he wrestled AC Puma last week and destroyed him. He destroyed Ray Wolf. Actually, this is his second defense of that TV title because he defended it against Ray Wolf. He destroyed Ray Wolf as well. Boy, did he ever destroy him. He's proven quite the champion, man. He's been proven to be quite the champion. There it is, ladies and gents. The world television title. That is, that is the number one man in this company. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. The unified champion. Even though there's no more unified title. So basically he's carrying around both belts. He's carrying around the world television title. And he's carrying around the world heavyweight champion. He is the man. He's got the two top singles titles here in GMW. He's got the world title and the 
TV title. Will he still have that TV championship by the end of the night? Is it time for him to drop on and focus on the world title? Because either way, if he loses the belt tonight, he's still the number one man. He's still got the world title. He's still got the world title, and he won't be, and he won't be defending that world championship until breakthrough in the rematch. Um, I said it was going to be a uh, TLC match. I might be changing my mind. But it is a rematch, ladies and gentlemen. John Moxley and... John Moxley and the Big Amish, that's right. Yes, unfortunately, John Moxley won the first main event of GMW Underground last week. He beat Hannibal Black to get that title shot. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The world's television title is on the line. Introducing the challenger from New York, weighing in at 206 pounds, Hurricane. Yes, the Hurricane himself, Billy Paragon. And introducing the champion from Indiana. This big monster. In at 402 pounds, the superstar. That's right. Big Amish. The angry Amish warrior. With a new attitude and new attire too, by the way. The Big Amish. The world's television champion. There it is, guys. The big prize. The world's TV title is on the line. This feud started last week when Big Amish got called out and Barrington got in the face of the World TV Champion. And he's doing it again. He's grabbed him by the beard and a shot to the gut, but that had little effect on the World Television Champion. <coughs> the power advantage is with the World TV t Champion. Barrington has to use that quickness. And there's the knee. Doesn't get it, though. STO takedown by the big man. Paragon, like I said, Paragon's been on a roll. Neckbreaker. Rake of the face, but Amish back up there. There it is. That's the quickness that Paragon needs to use, man. If he wants to be the world TV champion, grabs him again. Goes for the clothesline. Duck under. Clothesline again. Rocks the big man. And the team and the DDT, the running DDT. That will slow down Paragon. World TV champion now in control. Going for a suplex. A hanging vertical suplex. And delivers. A hanging vertical suplex. Hammerlock by the big man. Oh, oh, and a fist. A forearm, rather. Vicious forearm by the television champion and the big Amish. And another hanging vertical suplex. This is the dominance of the big man. He needs to get that dominance. Go for another suplex. No, just dumps him across the top rope. It's been dictated by the champion. Going for the cover. Referee, somewhat in perfect position, but only gets a one count. The world television title's on the line, guys. Oh, going for a DD, yeah, DVD, but Paragon reverses it. Paragon picks up the big Amish and drives the knee ring the chin. Drives the knee right in the chin of the big Amish. There's the slam. Goes for the, like I say, Paragon needs to use that quickness. He needs to use the quickness. He can't match power with the big man. This is what happened last week as well, by the way. The dive. This is what caught the big man off guard last week. Paragon off the ropes. And takes that dive and sh 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 slams 
The big man right into the guardrail. I said there is a count out. Billy Paragon. If Paragon wins by car now, he only have himself to blame. Because if he wins by car now, Amish is still the world television champion. Oh! Beautifully done. Amish now. Oh my god. Refs at a count of eight. Refs at a count of nine. Oh dear. Paragon wins by count out. But he doesn't win the television title. So here's the deal. Paragon wins by count out. But he doesn't win the TV title. So... With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of GMW Underground. Like I say, you've had Manic defeat Mass Terror. You've had Colleen and Red ended in a double counter, although it was a better performance from Colleen Masters. Also, you've had... Um, who else have you had? Oh, yes, Lady J gets her rematch for the women's title. Lady J gets her rematch for the women's championship. By beating Mercedes. She will get the rematch at Breakthrough. Loco Joe made Maverick Fox tap out. The Nightmare is the number one contender for the Hardcore Championship. Also. Also. Not only is the Nightmare the hardcore the number one contender for the Hardcore Championship. OJJ beats Logan, Logan Storm. We're probably going to see another match between. Um, Ray Wolf and Mr. OA. Aiden Wheeler. And Killer would be this Tuesday on Twitch, on GMW. And also, as you clearly just saw there in the TV title match, there, Billy Paragon won the match, but did not win the belt. So, what I'm thinking of doing is this. I'm thinking of this. Next week, Next week, your main event will be for the World Tag Team titles. That will be one main event for the World Tag Team titles will be on the line next week. It will be, yeah, it, it's going to be for the Tag Team titles. And I'm going to decide who the contenders are this week. So next week, right here on this program, the World Tag Team Championships will be on the line. Do we have a rematch for the World TV title as well? Hmm. I think we'll decide that this week as well. So there possibly could be another re rematch for the World TV title. But your next, but next week will be for the World Tag Team. The, the one match is going to be named, and it'll be for the World Tag Team titles. Are we going to have a rematch for the TV belt as well? You know what? I think I've got a different idea. I've got a different idea next week. How about this? How about we have a rematch? I can't think of what I'm going to do. Because John Moxley, you know what I'm going to do? Since he's won that, He's won the television championship match for the TV belt. I think I'm going to have something as well. I don't know what to do. I don't know if he should go for the thing because he deserves a world title shot. The question is, do I give him that title match? I think I'm going to have a rematch next week or match next week. Subject to change. It could be Billy Paragon one-on-one -on -one with Big Amish again for the TV title. I don't know what I'm going to do. I won't know until probably Thursday. So look out for me on 
social media and I will promote that this week. Will we have the rematch this week? I don't know what I'm going to do. But the fact of the matter is, Billy Powergan won the match tonight, but he didn't win the belt. Big Amish is still your champion, your TV champion and world champion. Do you know what? I'll let you know on Tuesday what the main event is for Underground. This Tuesday on Twitch. I'll let you know. But next week on Underground, the tag team titles will be on the line. And I will decide who the contenders are this week. It will be uh, Andrew Eaton and Gary Eaton defending the World Tag Team titles next week. They may very well be another title match. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'll let you all know this Tuesday. Okay, so look out for the replays on here because you'll get your answers of what's going down here next Saturday, this week. Um, once I do the show on Tuesday as well, because like I say, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. But guys, thank you for all the likes, the shares, the follows, and all that stuff as well. And thank you for lurking as well, checking out GMW Underground 2. Underground 3 will be back next week. If you want more GMW, get yourself over to Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash games matter mafia. Uh, no, twitch.tv forward slash games matter underscore. Facebook.com forward slash games matter mafia. So twitch.tv forward slash games matter underscore GMW Tuesdays and Thursdays replayed here on the Facebook page probably during the week as well. Probably towards the end of the week, maybe Friday or Saturday as well. I've got Thursday's episode as well from Twitch coming out tomorrow on this channel. Tomorrow at uh, 9 o'clock, half nine time. Please, guys, please, 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 remember, it's a premiere, okay? I'm not going to be in, I might not be in there, I might be in there, I don't know. It is a premiere. I am not live, okay? Just like the reruns I'm going to be doing tomorrow as well on the Twitch channel for the for both episodes of, t of The Underground today, please, it's a rerun as well. But thank you to everybody who stopped by. I will see you... I'm having a day off tomorrow. I'll probably see you on Monday here on the Facebook page. If I don't, I'll see you next Friday on the Facebook page because I won't be here Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday because I'll be doing the Twitch thing. Um, I'll be doing my schedule on Twitch. So I'm more than likely 90% going to be here on Facebook on uh, Monday as well. So we'll see what happens on that. I'll, I'll put out a thing. If I don't, I'll cancel it. It's fine. But I'll be definitely here next Saturday with more GMW as well. Thank you to everybody who's tuned in. Thank you all. Have a safe weekend, whatever it is you are doing. And I'll see you probably on Monday here on Twitch or Facebook. I haven't decided yet, but look out for me. Peace out, y'all.